Strokes are the third leading cause of death in this country and the leading cause of disabilities. Each year, some 800,000 Americans suffer a stroke, and medical science and techniques are just now catching up with treatment. As 13 Wham, Sean Carroll explains, in Rochester, we're seeing a renewed focus on treating stroke patients. It's an all-star team of technology, technicians, and triage. You want to give me the knives? Why, you don't trust me with the knives? <laughs> It's those funny moments shared between mother and daughter that were nearly lost forever in January when Muriel Dotel suffered a stroke. As soon as I fell and I couldn't get up, I knew what it was. I yelled to my husband, I think mom had a stroke. He goes, I'll drive you over. The 82-year-old Dotel then arrived in the capable hands of Strong's revamped stroke team. The second she hit her emergency department door, she had obvious signs of stroke. A stroke is a loss of blood flow to the brain. For every second we delay, thousands of brain cells are dying. What's new is that this process is very rapidly started immediately in the emergency department. So after less than 10 or 15 minutes, the diagnosis is made. The latest technology helped doctors immediately pinpoint where blood wasn't getting to Dotel's brain. So you're seeing poor blood flow right here on Correct. the left side of Muriel's brain. Before minutes turned to hours, they'd located the blood clot and were removing it with spring-like devices. There are devices that can go through the catheter that allow to, us to pull the clot out of the brain. In Dotel's case, paralysis, even death, was averted. Yeah, I'm doing my housework and, and my laundry and all that. Once again, sharing all those priceless moments with family. Yeah, therapy, they made me pretend that I was washing dishes and putting them away. <laughs> I, told right. him, I told him I don't do that because I got a dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> All four major Rochester hospitals are designated stroke centers. The U of R Medical Center manages neurosurgery for each. The stroke team's focus is simple. Time is of the essence. Triage stroke patients swiftly and you save lives. Muriel there, an example. You said that it's sometimes more challenging to treat stroke patients than heart patients. Exactly. Both life-threatening. In fact, doctors want folks to start thinking of strokes as brain attacks. The stroke is often called the silent killer. There's fewer warning signs you're actually having one than, say, a heart attack. Since time is of the essence, speeding up that ER response is all the more crucial when it comes to a patient coming through their doors. All right. On a lighter note... Congratulations. Oh, that's Thank you right. Very much. Yeah. Sean Carroll, getting wedding married. Day, wedding yeah. bells on. Uh, yes, indeed. On <laughs> A couple Friday days left. Friday, Friday is the day.